Redneck, Redneck Outdoor, Outdoor, Outdoor Channel. 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 All right, y'all. We're out here hanging some trail cameras. A little preseason scouting also. We'll let Trey put batteries in that one. It's been up all season. And we'll just now take it down and we'll put it back up in a different spot here. This little limb here was a scrape last year. So I had a camera on it and it's where I got most of my good buck pictures. And there's kind of a trail that runs through there and typically I'd like to have the camera pointing down the trail instead of crossways on it. But uh, I think I'm on, that tree's got too much lean back on it. That would actually be pretty good. It'd be pointing down the trail, wouldn't it? It's not going to get good morning pictures because of the sun. He's right. Because that way's east. So any deer on it in the mornings. Not going to get good pictures. Really, ideally, which works out pretty good because this scrape is on the south side of that little tree there. I think it's a little bow dark, actually. But, uh, so right here about head high kind of gets it up out of the line of sight of a deer just just seem to not notice it as much i used to put them off you know thigh high and it seemed like you got a lot of deer looking at the looking at the camera but that's get let far fewer deer stick them up a little bit that far fewer of them seem to notice the camera so i think i'm gonna put it right here even though it's not quite looking down the trail either way, but it's overlooking that scrape. So, Trey will ever get the batteries in it. Hey, we're almost done. Almost done, he says. But, it's, it's September 22nd today, first day of fall. We usually always run our cameras throughout the summer we're out in like may june putting them up and you get some velvet photos here and there but to be honest with you the bucks that we typically get in velvet we don't ever get them hard horned during the hunting season we don't see the same bucks i don't know if that's just this piece of public that we're hunting or what but also, off that way, you can probably tell. Looks like a storm coming in. It's gonna supposed to rain this evening. So, uh, it'll be real good. We got bug spray on and all that. So, <laughs> we'll hang these cameras. And uh, then should rain and kind of wash our scent out of here. So, that'll be real good too. But, anyways, I kind of decided this year I'm not running cameras during the summertime. And paying for cellular plans and, and not getting any information that I can use off of them. But here we are. Just roll around and tuck it. I don't know if it's certified or not, but it'll work. I'm just not flapping around everywhere. Than So we're running a Moultrie Delta here, I think. And, uh, just kind of pointed where we wanted there. New batteries in it. It's a couple year old camera, so it's got quite a bit of use. But uh, I really like them. They're cheap, cheap as you can get, pretty much. And I always just turn on. There's all this steps you can do with the connect status button to send you a picture but turn it on close it check it on your phone that's always seems to work the best for me don't worry about the testament thing that seems to make them mess up i think but but we're about head high there kind of tucked up in here a little bit too so next i'm going to come over here some of this stuff that might 
getting away with the photo. it on that camera there and uh we'll start getting inventory here last year right on this scrape i had a lot of photos of bucks i really like putting them on scrapes i put them on all kinds of trails and food sources and stuff like that and i tend to get the most buck photos on the scrapes but you gotta keep in mind that say we got a uh, north wind the deer might not always come to this scrape he might be you know he might he could be a hundred yards downwind on the other side of that of that little goalie there and smelling it scent checking it from downwind he doesn't have to get right up on it to to scent check it but but this typically gives me the best photos kind of a roster of what deer are out here but anyhow Move on to the next one. All right, so you can put your trail cameras on a food source or on a trail or on a watering hole and those are all pretty good places to get pictures of deer, but I tend to like to put them on scrapes and I, you know, from those pictures that I got just of that week or two right there, some of the better picture photos I got. Uh, you can see that, you know, there's just a lot of deer coming to it it's kind of a high traffic area too but it's a year after year scrape there so what you're looking for really is a big scrape it's going to be you know a pretty good size scrape that's something that they're coming back to year after year there's you got little scrapes that they'll make just here and there but they might not check those next year that might just be kind of an aggression thing and a big scrape like that you know like they want to have there last year they're obviously still scent checking it even though they're not hitting the ground they're not digging and pawing at it they're still hitting that licking branch and coming to it and seeing what deer are in the area and i think they're also kind of seeing what other animals are in the area too so you can see from them videos and photos that it kind of seems like a lot of animals come to it and I was talking to buddy dylan and he's saying He's kind of wondering if uh, maybe, you know, a coyote or a bobcat, they might not also use that scrape. And I was like, well, I never really thought of that, but I do tend to get a lot of predator photos and stuff right there too. So, but uh, 
that's the best I can the best advice I can give is kind of put them on your big scrapes like that and and uh, just keep them up out of the way and what have you like that and I don't see any reason really running them in the summertime either so I mean you can it's cool to get velvet buck photos but I, I don't ever get a whole lot of knowledge from it so it doesn't help me much but anyhow y'all like and subscribe we'll keep them coming deer season's upon us now so we're about to get some good videos and stuff so you're definitely gonna want to subscribe <laughs>